Okay, in five, four, three. What's up, everybody? How would you like to know what the secret sauce is? I bet you always do. You want to hear about how the secret of success happens. Well, we don't have that here for you today, but we got the next best thing, so stay tuned. All right, we are live uh, here at the uh, Small Business Showcase and Expo at Brookdale Community College today. <laughs> and it's been a fun-filled event when it comes to being an experiment, right? This was good a experiment. beta test, good, good. and now we got power outages, so we got to pack it up. So um, I'm here with Rafael Mata, who is the president and founder, or is it CEO and founder, whatever you A know. whole bunch of a stuff. A whole bunch it's of all, stuff, right? A, I, I, all the boxes. All the boxes. <laughs> so uh, he is, um, a, first of all, uh, Rafael has a huge history working in state government. He has navigated, and he said it himself, he's a, a, a government navigator. Um, but um, this is the beauty of a, a live event, right? And there we go. And um, <laughs> it was it was a great it was a great and, experiment. Yeah, it was a great experiment. Um, it'll evolve further. But what was really cool about all of this is um, that we got to announce. Now I had said uh, about being, you know, I coined this term, the the ethical uh, ethical capitalism, and um, and also the collaborative economy. And then uh, you and I were in this conversation the other day about um, the. You, you had talked about this equity... Advocate, equity, an equity advocate. Yep. Right, an equity advocate. And you gave me this whole mechanism about how it works. And I'm like, oh my God, we align. <laughs> like, this is the shit that I'm trying to figure out with this collaborative it, yeah, economy yeah. for almost a yeah, decade, yeah. right? And so so tell me, I, I, and again, um, we have your your recording on right, a right. Biz Talk, the live session, so people get to know you from there. But let's jump into what is this equity advocacy? Yeah, for, first of all, Eric, let me just thank you for putting this together. This is, this is really not an experiment. This has been something that's been needed uh, for the last 15 years, all right? You're connecting people that generally wouldn't connect. And that's what an equity advocate ultimately does too. We're, we're just navigators. We're people that naturally care yeah. about things that don't match. Uh, we're problem solvers, but then we figure stuff out and we keep it to ourselves. And not you, Eric, you don't keep it to yourself, but that's not the norm. We keep it to ourselves. If you learn something and you know how to get something solved for people, get out there, like yeah. help them out. That's yeah. it. That's how we duplicate our efforts, you know? Right, right, and, and that's it. I mean, you know, I don't want to talk about the Procurement, procurement Com brand. Um, we know that what we're doing, we have a really important thing um, and, and I'll sell that all day, but I want to talk about a little bit about, you know, you uh, are an inaugural legacy partner to the Procurement Com oh, yeah. brand. Now we launched that. Um, and that's, you know, I say it's a one year, you know, long term sponsorship, but we're going way beyond that yep. as, a, as a relationship is concerned. Tell me a little bit more about you. You talk to me about how do you give me this ed, this equity advocacy a little bit more. Let's talk. Tell them what they can do or what, what they should do to reach out to you and learn how to become an equity advocate because they might already be doing something but not know how to put it together. Well, first and foremost, here's the easiest way. You know, social media, we say social media all the time. Please follow me on social media is where most of my stuff will be launched. Uh, you're going to see a very organic approach. I'm going to be out in the community, out with businesses, showing what an actual equity advocate does, okay? A connector, a navigator, right. you know, uh, a person who tries to help problems. That's what we all do, Eric. Yeah, we they, solve problems for problem. profit. That's what businesses do. I just want to be the agent of that change. Uh, as you know, I've already worked with governments and educational institutions. I know what a lot of the systems lack. We have the resources. We have the information. Just need guys like us, uh, people uh, like at your procurement con thing. Right. Which is, this is the second time I'm speaking here. You're going to see me a lot as a legacy partner speaking at your events because I really believe that bringing these businesses together, bringing the resource partners together, and then businesses like ours is really going to just put us over the top. People can look to join my team in the coming year as a consultant, as someone who's an equity advocate, as someone who has a specialized skill that helps businesses you know, get from point A to point B. That's what I'm building. That's what I hope to build with you on Procurement Com. Yeah, no, and, and we're glad to have you. I mean, the brand, the Procurement Com brand is about 
It's, I mean, I developed the brand and designed the brand because I can't stand conferences. Yep. I, they're stale. They're the same old shit. There's that's no true. real yeah, engagement. True. People's emotions aren't, aren't tried. That's true, yep. It's a lot of fluff, and I can't stand fluff. You know, and granted, listen, our letter agencies are decent enough right. to get out there, but there's a bureaucracy, an operating status or a model they have to freaking stay in. Right, right. So they can't say the things I can say. Well, that's what I learned. The, 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 the challenge is our government really funds things based on a problem or a population. And because of that, like you said, their hands are tied. Sometimes you have good people that really oh, want to yeah. help things out and they want to do a lot of great things, but... I can only do what my funding allows. I can only do what my department allows. I stop here. <laughs> I start here, I stop here. Things like procurement con, campus service, all of your speakers, they're a testament to people that used yeah. all these resources yeah. on their own. So now yeah. what you have here with this combination is you have a person that can point to what the next step is. That's yeah. where the businesses are stuck. They're, start, they're stuck at saying, okay, I started my business, now what? Now what? I got what? certified, now what? Right. I got that loan, now what? We're the now what, Eric. We're yeah, the now and, what. And yeah. And that's <laughs> what's, you know, and that's part of the alignment. I think a lot of the people that are around this brand um, and around you right. are they're in alignment. They, 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 they do a lot of, we all do a lot of what everybody yeah, else yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. We do a lot of what agencies do already. We help people. We give them the basics, yada, yada, yada. But like for us, the thing is, is like, how do we support them do before, during, and after? Right. Right? They come to our events. It's before, during, after. What do you right, get right, before, right. during, after? Um, a lot of times they go to agencies, and again, they're in this box, and they're very helpful. Don't get right, me right, wrong. Right, right. Listen. The reality is, as a startup, the last thing a startup needs is to go spend $50,000 on some consultant. They should go to the SBDC or the That's MBDA, yep. get their free help from there. That's correct. But at the point where those agencies get to the hands tied moment, that's when they come out and they find the advocates like you. And you the people I mean? that show up at procurement car, because I've already met a number of businesses that are in this field and they're ready to, you know, yeah. especially on the equity advocate end, they're ready to help people right now. They're saying, yeah, that resonates with me. I, I can only do so much in this role. I want to do more. Yeah, yeah so so tell me tell me um, something that is like, I mean, the equity advocacy, obviously that's an idea that we want to see, the collaborative economy, we want that to grow. Um, ethical capitalism is a real thing. People don't have to murder yeah. each other that's over correct. a dollar. Yeah, that's right. um, but let's talk about something a little bit more I want to say inspiring to anybody that's watching because there's somebody out there right now that is hearing what we're saying right. they say yeah those events are great yeah those agencies are great oh you know collaborative economy is a good idea but but I'm, I'm in the shitter right now yeah, like, yeah, yeah. what do I do next sure. what, what, what advice can you give somebody that's literally on the bottom that's hitting come that rock out, come out to in-person events start with procurement con but come out to in-person events you can't hide behind a computer webinars don't get it done you can't email your way out of this hole the only way as a business that you're going to learn and connect with people is going to be good old-fashioned way they're going to read your energy they're going to say hey i like eric i like the way he does his work i like the event i like all of it those things lead to opportunities people will call a person that they met in person quicker than someone on the phone. Oh, and if yeah. you don't believe me, you know, I'm a big advocate of LinkedIn, but if I've only met you through LinkedIn, if you've only sent me a random message, who are you? Who are yeah, you? Yeah, so know. who are you? So, so that's what I would say. They need to come out and start networking just like the good old days, but with a purpose, Eric. Don't just come to these things without knowing who you want to connect with. If, if they, if, I've already met a couple of, of your guests here if you want to meet with me, then you should come to meet with me. You want to meet with one of the other speakers. If you want to do business with one of these guys, get in their face. Come here. Get in their face. Just like the yeah. good old days. Hey, I'm here. I'm ready to do something. Yeah, it's, it's funny because on our other show that we launched, How, Why, What, I talk about the power of a business card yeah, yeah. and how you can use that. But you don't ever have to say a word to somebody. But if you're at an event, That's right. they could be talking. You don't want to interrupt. You hand yeah, the business yeah. card. Can I have yours? And then right there, there's at least... Uh, uh, that physical moment that says we connected and you can follow up in a and phone call if you, if you can't talk to them at the moment. So it's like, you know, yeah, get in your face. Um, and we're going to probably have to do a how, why, what episode for networking for introverts because there are yep. business owners, and I don't make that as a joke. I say that seriously. Yep. There are business owners out there that are fine sitting behind the table. They're fine doing their craft or they're fine making their emails or they're fine doing their design. 
or strategies, but they have a real problem getting to this. Yep. And they need help too, because they're business owners too, and they need to elevate. And that's one of the things I would like to see happen, because at the end of the day, they can be equitable assets in the community. You know? Look, what, what you're saying is spot on, and I'm guilty of the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna t I said it today uh, in our live chat. I'm a business, I'm an entrepreneur like everyone else. I made the same mistake, Eric. I focused so much on the work, so much on my client, so much on the value that I bring. I didn't market myself. Yeah, market. So, so, so thanks to Procurement Con and what we'll be doing forward, you're probably going to be nauseated by the amount of Gambit services happening, but <laughs> you're absolutely right. <laughs> I did not advertise myself. Neither do many businesses. No, they don't. Many, many businesses don't. You don't even know they're a thing, and you're like, how great is your food? How great are your clothes? How great is yeah. everything? And you don't even know about it. So, yeah, coming to these things in person, it gets things started. Yes, you can amplify it on social media and all this, but it really starts with in person. Oh, yeah, Even great no. clients, you end up meeting them in person. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I mean, we met you in person. You know what I mean? Unfortunately for you, Eric. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> dude, you have no <laughs> fucking idea what you stepped into with me. I can assure you of that. <laughs> Hell no. I'm sure I have a little bit of an idea. Yeah, yeah so idea. I'll be all over you like white on rice. Th this really was excellent, though. This, this, this was an excellent event. Opportunities like this don't come every every time. We got we, yeah 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 yeah. Point the thing. You're, you're you're in front of the camera, dude. Oh. <laughs> come on, if you can be on the side, happen. but just don't just <laughs> nobody wants to see your butt. <laughs> we're, we're live. We're live. <laughs> That's good. No, you're good. You're good. No, I mean, I uh, you know, it's um, you know, and again, we're sitting here talking about a, like you know a lot of plugs for procurement con and that's really important for us to talk about a lot of plugs for gambit services but there's a reason and that reason is is that you know i think this is not a, if you build it what they will come operation yours isn't mine isn't yeah. we don't believe that and this is not a status quo right, right. approach just because we have an event or because you are an expert and you have a business that i'm just going to approach this based on are you giving away chips well, you come in and give away <laughs> well, well, which, Sorry, Oh, okay. my favorite we one! We are, but we're getting free chips okay, out of it. Oh my. Unfortunately, I know that we're like, the show, but do you have a business card? I, I'll give it to you right after oh, I finish with the yeah, show. No <laughs> so check we it out. I bear a good chips. Just chips. hook me up with Every my favorite chips. chips. Black truffle. You ain't getting none. No, get your own. Eric, you don't mess around. It's really live. <laughs> it's not fake live. It's really <laughs> no, live. I don't mess around. I wanted to add to your procurement piece. I know I mentioned procurement con a lot. I promise you, it's not just about talking about plugs. Look, I've spent my entire career around government contracting, helping people access government contracting. What hurts me the most is the lack of awareness and community education on the money that's out there. It just sits there, man. If people are not drawing down on it, that's really what kills me. If people were getting more prepared, if it was part of their strategy that they wanted these these government entities as clients, these these large nonprofits and all that, even the educational institutions, people are literally not bidding. Hundreds of millions of dollars yeah, get know, left right? on the table. You know, I, I had the opportunity to work for state government and just a single department had a budget of about $380 million a year. Okay, and when I could tell you the amount of small businesses or diverse businesses that actually bid, they no, did the it. percentage is obscenely small. And the scared. events, yeah, the events scared. are generally these these stale events. And no, no offense to the to yeah. the agencies that put on their industry days or their you know meet the bot, but that's a, a single one off. I know this model of putting everybody under one roof works. Yeah, yeah. And I know that they need it. I mean, we, we hooked up with the Department of Energy. We've hooked up right. with SBA. I mean, so we know, GSA, we know they want it. Right, now right. we just got to get all these small businesses to take advantage of it. And no, is it going to be cheap all the time? Absolutely not. But what we're doing is, is we're putting people like you, we're putting right. people like them, we're putting people out here in there to tell their stories, to provide their services, right. and to give education. And that's the thing. Our events are no-sell events. No classroom, no panel, no right, speech. Right, right. Will anybody ever be up there saying, come hire me or buy my book? Right, right. Yeah, what you do on the that, floor yeah. is a different it's thing. Not, yeah, it's, yeah. People are walking out. And see, that's, that's what's good is, is having you on board with us is that you will get the clients on the floor. They will get the education from you in the classroom. And that's the way we operate it all. And uh, again, I don't want to plug that. I want to talk about, you know, Gambit Services too, because 
you know, we're going to do a lot of business. Gambit is going to be all over the Procurement Con brand. Um, but we got good things happening right, right. too, and we're going to leave it in. A, we got about a minute and a half left. Okay. Uh, we are looking at uh, launching a workforce career brand not for profit together. That's excellent. Yep. You and, and I'm I, excited. Right, right? I'm excited about that because I'm a firm believer in that the new workforce, the new middle class is small business. Oh, it okay? absolutely is. Uh, absolutely yes, is. a job's great. Yes, I'd like my, my daughters to go out and get a job and learn how to work. Hold up, like MT Bank, come here. Come on camera. But, uh, but yeah, but at the end you of the day. Right <laughs> you come right in, you come right in. You're at M&T yeah, Bank. How you doing? Joe, how you doing, oh, how are you? How you doing? Oh. I told you I was gonna come by. Yeah, yeah we got, we got, we got <laughs> shut down because they're, they're running on the generator. You know, we, I live in the area and I had the power dipping in and out. Yeah. All day. It's across the state. Yeah, a couple yeah. of people have texted me. Bad, bad luck today. So, so let me give you a. Uh, give me everything. Um, personal card now if yeah. you have it. And, 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 and Raphael, if you've never met Raphael Mata, he is, uh, Joe, you want to come behind the camera here? Sure. So sure. people get you, because this is going to be on our YouTube channel. Oh, okay. So, so Joe, Raphael, introduce yourself. So SPDC, right? Yeah, well, now, now, now we're Gambit Service Media. Right? Oh, okay, okay. But, 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 but I've worked, of course, yeah, I've done a lot of projects with them, as I've done with many government entities and stuff like that. Really happy to be working with this guy. We're going to be doing a lot of new things for small business. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we definitely have to get together. This event got a little, you know, sideways. June, ju June 17th is the BizCon now here. Okay, okay. June 17th. Uh, so I'll make sure you're emailed all the information. And we'll talk. We lowered our sponsorship rates on that also so that we can make it a little bit easier for everybody. Um, and uh, we'll get that over to you too. But let's definitely talk about it. I mean... Let's stay tuned because we're community lending. Yeah. I'd like to connect. I'd like to connect with sure. you around yeah. that. I know the community lending is important. So this is this is Joe. Joe, say it nice and loud. Joe, fro, Joe, what's your last name? Imbriali, from M and T Bank. From M and T Bank, and 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 M and T Bank already knows I'm chasing the shit out of them. <laughs> um, but hey, M and T Bank, I'm chasing and some other people too. And you have a lot of good advocates. Yeah. Oh, I, I adore Dominic. Dominic's amazing. Dominic will show up to. Yep. Dominic will show up to an event even if it's in a, you know, like, I'm going to be like, hey, we're having the event in Atlantic City in November. He's like, I'll be there. I'm like, okay. There you go. You guys are very involved. In we are. Yeah. We are. We very try to be. And, uh, even with our local branches here. And so you want to explore uh, growing the, the practice down here in Montana? Yeah, no, we're all for it. When we were looking to build some guys, uh, build a relationship with you guys. Great. Great to see you. Joe, pleasure. Thank you. I wish the weather was better. Yeah, no, it's all right. Hey, it's, it, is what it, is. it is what it is. Sorry for the interruption. This is no, no. This is, this is the way no, my show no, no, operates. If we get interrupted, we get interrupted. interrupted. Okay. Good to see you, Jess. All right, brother. Thank you. Stay in touch. All right. Okay. Definitely. So, uh, obviously, we went over the time, and I don't give a shit. Okay. Um, but, listen, okay. so, uh, you know, Gambit Services, tell everybody what the services you actually offer are. So Gambit Services is really, and an, an, in its advisory capacity, it helps businesses find new money and new markets and deal with very complicated compliance matters. In our work together, I want to create a lot of in-community direct business services that address all of the challenges that businesses are having and they're unable to do it. The education's there, the resources are there, the contracts are there, let's connect them. Let's yeah. just connect them a little and, micro. And through courses, that, through yeah. that, between us, we'll be able to actually create even better program tracks at our events because yep. you'll guide us on where those gaps are that we're not filling to bring those resources to. So and, I think and, that's. And this is another reason why I would love people to come to in-person things like procurement con, like the biz talks. I want to hear from the businesses. What do they need in the community so that we can respond? Yeah. And that's the great part of addressing, you know, social issues in a private setting. Yeah, you know, uh, sure. that's the great thing. We can be agile that way. We can respond to the yeah. community yep. based on what they be want. Be nimble, be agile. Absolutely. So, okay, folks. So you heard it again. And, you know, we are check out the website. Check out the other episodes. Uh, Gambit Services link is in the description below. Um, I don't get a commission if you hire him. Um, he does not. No, I do not. <laughs> you son of a bitch. But he gets a hug. He gets a hug. <laughs> so check us out um, and uh, <laughs> check him out. And uh, definitely, you know, keep watching the show. Keep following us. Sign up for our mailing, uh, our notifications, so that you can see when an event is coming near. We have a five-year plan that we're growing way outside of the tri-state area, way outside of New York, New Jersey. We have a national strategy, and uh, we're taking him with us. 
unfortunately. Can't wait. All right. So listen, everybody. You go out there and you make some shit happen. That's right. We're out. That's right.